Hey everybody, Troy Anderson here from kettlebellfatlosstraining.com and kbfatloss.ning.com. That's where we post all our free information. Uh, we've got 468 members and we're rapidly moving towards 500. I wanted to share a couple things from you from my handy dandy training riddle today. You can see I'm, I'm getting down to the bare bones of this. Um, training stuff from last week, actually two weeks, uh, two workouts the so previous week. Uh, last week I did my, do my sprint workout, my hill sprint workout on Tuesdays. And the previous Friday during our Meltdown Live session, we've done heavy front squats, uh, double kettlebell front squats with these. You can see my pair of 28-kilo uh, kettlebells sitting there. Um, and so and what we did with those um, was did 100 total repetitions of them. And it, it absolutely ruined me. My legs were so sore. It was crazy. But when I came back, interesting enough, on the, the Tuesday, um, on my Tuesday sprint workout, um, we, uh, I, I'm really stiff and sore in my kind of lumbar psoas area. Interestingly enough, not nearly as much warm up needed to start those sprints and felt great, felt healthy, felt comfortable. So there's a big tip involved in that. So you can bet that I'll be doing uh, a good chunk of some, some sort of kettlebell front squats. I actually did some this week already. Um, so we'll see how it turned out. Maybe my sprints today, I felt pretty good. Um, the other thing I picked up is, is two tips on swinging the kettlebell. And I'm going to actually live demo it to you. Um, two things I kind of, I mean, it, it makes sense when we say it out loud. And that's kind of how all really good tips are. But um, I just have a light kettlebell here. It's a 20-kilo kettlebell, so 45, 44-pounder. Um, but just to change what we think about, a lot of us get caught up in moving the weight and focusing on the weight moving and accomplishing the task. And especially with kettlebells and doing the more rapid movements, we actually want to concentrate on what our body is doing instead. And so I just started to give myself a mental cue of focusing on moving the hips, which I've said a million times over and again, and I practice it and do that, but sometimes we still, even as we, as, as more experienced lifters, and as we get fatigued, we start to forget about this. So if we just kind of hone in and focus on moving the hips, it works real well. Great. Another thing along with that is I was thinking, back to things that my, my old position coach used to say in college football, would be um, to keep a dish in your back so you can be in that power kind of position, which kind of equates to any kind of really lifting, dead lifting kind of position, and it equates real well to the swing. So I started to apply, think about the hips moving, and then think about this dish in the back. So the dish in the back stays all the way through here, boom, extend up and through, and then you're getting back into that position. So you're working on that dish in the low back. So let's just do a couple repetitions. So you can see what I'm talking about. You really won't be able to see because it's all inside my head on what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about moving the hips only, not thinking about watching the bell so much because I know the bell will do the right thing if I'm doing the work from here. And then keeping what, what Coach Buffington used to call a soup dish in my back. So just simple. Here we're just... So that's pretty simple, but it was a real revelation for me just to kind of give myself those two cues on that. So Troy Anderson signing off, kettlebellfatlosstrain.com if you're looking for getting started with the kettlebell fat loss program. If you're not quite ready yet and want to see what we're all about, come over to kbfatloss.ning.com, .ning, N-I-N-G.com, and we'll see you there.